Hey guys, it's Nehmanya and welcome to another 2D landscape Photoshop tutorial. This is really requested topic from you guys, so this is, I don't know, fourth or fifth tutorial in series. I lost the count, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that today we learn how to create this type of artwork, so without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, today we will start with this blank piece of paper, blank canvas in Photoshop, and if you're curious about the resolution, it's 2000 by 2500 pixels. And uh, now we will populate this with some 2D things. So basically, first thing that you need to know before you're doing this, you don't need, but it's easier, to know what actually you want to expect as a final result. So what do you want to put on this blank piece of paper? I know that I want to put some kind of uh, trees here on this side, and also tree on this side right here, with some branches here at the top, and also some grass here down below, maybe uh, this is rabbit, I don't know how to draw, but this is rabbit, this is some other animal, maybe fox, with a big tail, it's funny fox, doesn't matter, more like a squirrel, but also I want few trees uh, in the background here, maybe few bushes here and there, and uh, some falling leaves, etc. So this is basically it. So for that, we can use several things. We can either draw everything manually if we are good in drawing, which I'm obviously not, or we can go to some free websites like pixabay.com and just download some silhouette of the trees, animals, etc. And they have a lot of uh, silhouette of trees and things like that. So that's another way. And also we can go with a Photoshop filter, a render and tree. And we can render trees and turn it into a silhouette and use that. So today I will use combination of everything basically. I will draw a little bit, not too much just few lines and uh, I will use you will see right here let's, let's delete this because this is awful awful drawing I will use uh, this photo this is from Pixabay and I don't want to use a tree I just want to use the grass here down below so I will copy this and go paste it right here okay and uh, let's see let's move it in the scene it's really huge because this, this was a vector file, so you can download vectors too. And I will just go for the grass, so I will control or command T, see how huge this is. And let's see, I'll just go for something like this. And let's see, mm. yeah, actually I don't need that tree, so I'll go like that, and I will use a lasso tool and just lasso out everything here and put on layer mask and invert control or command i and now i need to do this part too again go to layer mask and i want to fill this with the black alt and backspace on windows or uh, option and backspace on a mac and this is it now we have a grass we have some gap here why is that well because I will go to another layer or I can just go to the same layer, it doesn't matter. And I will go with rectangular marquee tool and just fill this with the black. Again, Alt or Option on a Mac and Backspace and we are filling it with foreground color. Okay, perfect. We have something here. We can fix it by using a stamp tool and clone stamp tool and just clone it with some type of these things. Okay, we, we have also layer mask that we need to fix we can play here and there okay and again stamp tool and just go and oops not on a mask on the layer itself and just go and clone this okay this is perfect so we can erase maybe this because it's too much but now we have a grass okay this is one one part here. Another part that I want to do is to add even more of a grass detail. So I will go with this one. So I will copy this, go back here, paste it. And this is our artwork. It's amazing. Where is the forest and everything behind the grass? Everything is behind the grass. We cannot see it. We are really low down on the ground. We are hiding. Maybe we can make something here and that's like an artwork, but no. Okay, so we will make this smaller again, control or command T just make it smaller, but really, really small, like, like this, like we need two or three of these. Mm, let's see, maybe like this is one and I will just copy it with move tool, press and hold, alter option key, 
just drag it right there and who cares I'll just copy here and this is this is it so I will group everything here control or command G and name is grass because I want to know where are these things I have something below the keyboard so this is why it's wobbling okay so this is grass now let's go for the trees with the tree what I like to do I like to create a new layer I can go now on Pixabay and just download the tree and put it here and there but I will show you how to do it with Photoshop uh, filter render tree because I like it I like variations there but I will use my drawing skills amazing drawing skills I will use the hard round brush and I will just draw like I want the tree to be here like this and another tree I want to be something like like this here and now you can basically manually draw some branches here and there if you want and just paint your own tree if you're up to it and leaves etc but I already told you I am not good in these things there are so many amazing people just can draw amazing stuff okay so this is it and uh, now what we can do this is just a guideline for me so this is why I'm drawing this this tree trunks down below something like like this will be cool okay and now I will go create a new layer go to filter render tree okay and here you can see a bunch of tree presets we have 34 tree presets amazing things I'll go with oak tree because I like it we have basic and advanced tab and uh, here on the advanced tab we can tilt the camera see this is cool if you want to do that we can use a custom color for the leaves so maybe we don't want green maybe we want some kind of an orange so let's say okay and you will see some orange tree etc but I don't want that I want to use some kind of that color or I can go here and say reset and it should reset to default that's perfect let's reset also what we will use some things here but let's first uh, set the tree uh, the branches size and the leaves amount okay light direction we will not uh, deal with that we will go with the leaves amount we can make less or more leaves so you can see we can make without leaves at all but I definitely want some leaves not too much though then branch uh, branches thickness we can make some really thick branches or really thin one <laughs> this is and this is really stupid but it's there okay so something like like this also we can change the height of the branches see maybe even more up so let's let's go with something I don't know leaf size can make bigger or smaller smaller leaves that's cool too but let's see now guys this is something that you can spend a lot of time here tweaking to the desired result I will fast forward this until I I'm get something that I'm getting something that I really like okay let's go with this for example uh, and uh, one more thing because this needs to be a silhouette we can go to advanced tab and we can go here and say flat shading for leaves and flat shading for, from uh, for branches so let's click here and you will see it's now flat and also for the leaves now it's flat and this is this is a little bit better for this type of work if you're making this like a full silhouette one color it doesn't matter but we will have some variations and we will use this option so we can get a better result so let's press ok and I will show in this first plane of view it doesn't matter at all but for the second plane it will be really handy this type of uh, flat shading but for the first I will turn this into a silhouette by control click on it to load it as a selection and just fill it with black alt and backspace or option and backspace on a Mac control or command D to deselect control or command T to make it bigger and now I want to put this somewhere here at the top so like I want to have like a big big trunk and then branches right right there okay and I can make it bigger smaller but I think this is perfect and see I draw this trunk but actually it was really good what I can do here I can make it maybe like again I'm going into control mode maybe a little bit like this and I can go with the warp and 
just do something like this like to have a big branch it's coming from this direction also I can do this see I can play play with things a little bit mm, why not let's press ok and let's see if I move this a little bit up a little bit to the left I pretty much like it I can always go with regular brush and just draw the things how I like to be so maybe like maybe like this this is perfect okay now I will fast forward I will do exactly the same thing for the left part for the left tree for the left part of the image and then I will come back empty layer and everything is the rest the same okay so this is what I like again I will turn it into a silhouette control click and painted with white or uh, painted with black or what you can do you can press control or command U and then go with the hue and saturation dialog box and go with the lightness all the way down it's the same there are so many things that you can do in Photoshop in different ways so many same things again I will make it bigger put it somewhere here and let's see if I warp it again and move it like this this is pretty cool why not let's have something Cool, like that and press ok and we have now really really nice framing right here that I pretty much like it and this is our base for the rest so now we can go here and uh, maybe erase if we don't want so big trunks or leave it like that or whatever and uh, now what I like to do I like to go to a few other files I want to go to the rabbit put put the rabbit right there control command T make it smaller constrain the proportions okay I will flip it horizontally because I want my rabbit to go bong, 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 bong. okay or hide in the grass just the ears are there so I like it this way maybe it will jump somewhere here then what I like to do I like to go maybe with a fox or later now I want to add some mushrooms these are some drawing um, mushrooms that are drawn by hand or whatever but but I will just paste them here and I will again use control or command U and just make them dark and I don't care about these shadows I can erase shadows if I don't like them and also I don't need to erase everything down below I just want to erase this and I can use lasso tool and just just go like this doesn't need to be perfect I will just delete that and this is pretty cool the, the rest will not be visible because it will be way down in the grass so what I can do I can select everything again fill it with black and uh, now make it smaller like really small and I want to put the mushroom somewhere somewhere here okay maybe something like that I can even make a new layer and draw this part like this is a bigger mushroom also we can put some some things here but where is the grass it's here so I want to go and let's do something let's go to this one and move it a little bit down below and also to this one move it let's see down below let's see move this this down below all right now let's go to the mushrooms I need to group everything because now it's a big mess so Control or command J to make a copy of it go right there and I will erase these I don't need them just delete them and also I will raise this one I just want to use the big one okay, let's erase this why not and I will put this mushroom right here maybe to make it a touch bigger like that and what I have here some crazy things it's from from this from this okay I will just paint with the black and uh, let's go right there let's make a copy alt or option and just drag it flip it make it smaller and I just want to have another mushroom right here okay this is perfect maybe this rabbit is a little bit small now but it will jump here and there okay now let's make a short break to mention the sponsor for today's video this video is sponsored by Argrid, so thank you Argrid for that in case you don't know guys Argrid is an amazing website where you can find a hand-picked footage 
shot by top filmmakers in the industry. So that means that you will find really high quality video footage there. Also from 1080p to 4K all the way to 8K resolution and also in variety of different formats like ProRes, RAW, Log. So it depends what you need. Do you need to heavily color grade your footage later or just slightly? You can choose a proper format for that. The website is really well organized. The videos are well keyworded. So that means that you will find the proper footage easily. Also, they have something really cool. They have collections known as stories. So that means when you find the proper footage you need, if you need the same footage, but from different angles, you can find that below the main video really easily. You don't need to waste your time searching for something similar, but from different angles. So you can have everything in one place. Amazing. Also, you don't need to worry about the licensing. Everything is licensed. Everything is uh, royalty free. So you can use their footage anywhere worldwide on any platform you need. And also if your subscription expired, you don't need to worry about uh, that because everything that you downloaded when you had subscription, you can use it whenever you need, whenever you want, you have a license on that. Also, they have three pricing plans, junior, creator and professional. So you can choose whichever suits your needs. One really cool thing about the Argrid is that they're adding new material on a daily basis. So you don't need to reuse your materials over and over. You can always go back to Argrid to get a new fresh ones. And now the fun part, because the Argrid is sponsoring today's video, for everybody who followed the link down there in the description and sign up for the R grid, they're adding up two months completely free to their subscription. So if you sign up for the subscription, you will get two extra free months if you follow the link down there. Right guys, that's it. Now let's go back to the video. Okay, now let's clean up this a little bit. So all of these things, this is mushroom, 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 mushroom. Okay, so let's group this and I will just name M as mushroom. Then this is rabbit. And these are trees. So this trees. Okay. And now it's much better. So the next thing is to go and add some elements to another plane. But before that, what we can do, we can go and add these leaves. Why not? And I want just to add a few leaves like falling down from from this tree, etc. So now this will be again fast forward because what I need to do, I need just to select one of them shift control J or shift command J on a Mac, just to uh, cut it on a separate layer and position it where I want to be then go back to this layer again, lasso tool and just cut a few of them. You can do here new layer we are cut shift control plus J or shift command on a Mac plus J and then move it where you want this to be, etc. So I'll just fast forward this. Okay, for now, I will leave it like this. And now let's go to another plane. So before that, mm, these I think or our leaves. Yeah. Let's go to another plane. As I already said, I will create a new layer below everything behind the grass behind everything. So here, and uh, this will be I will put in a group and this group will be plane two or second plane or whatever. And again, I will go to filter and uh, render and three. And this time this flat uh, flat colors of the leaves and the trunk will be really helpful. You will see why again, I will fast forward, I will just reposition the sliders here and to get something that I like for the trees behind. Okay, so this is it. I have checked flat shading for the leaves and the branches press OK. And uh, now I have this green tree that I will again make it bigger. And I will put it somewhere here like this is a second plane of that trees. And this is cool. And also what I like to do, I will use a brush, I will sample this color and just draw part of the trunk there too. Okay, so because my tree is a little bit um, shorter than I wanted. So this is okay for now. And I will go and create hue saturation adjustment layer, move it all the way up to affect the group, clip it to affect only the group, and I will colorize everything. And now you will see how this will come handy. I will make this brighter. And let's see the colors we can you can choose any color you want. The brightness, of course, is optional, etc. This is completely personal preference. 
on based on taste, etc. But now you can see we have some variations in shading. If this was a silhouette, I can do that. Let, let me show. Is if this was, this was a silhouette, let's go to exposure, clip it off, I can only that, and we will have just one tone, one orange tone of everything. And this is perfect too, no problem if you want to create this kind of effect. But I really love this kind of variations because I can do that with uh, this type of Photoshop trees, render tree, and this is really cool. So for now, we're leaving it like that. I will create another layer, again, fast forward to get another tree. Okay, so this is another tree that I will put somewhere here. Again, I will make it bigger and I will put somewhere, somewhere here, like this. Maybe I can go with a warp and just maybe go like this. Or I can just use the same, not this color, but I need to hide this. I will use this same color and then I can paint with with this. But actually I will put some kind of bushes down below. So um, I don't need actually to paint this. You will see. And this is cool. Maybe I will move this one even more to the left. Maybe like, like this. Why not? So. And also we need to paint here even more things. Now it's time to add some kind of bushes. But before that, let's go all the way down and create one gradient adjustment layer because I want to fill the sky color. So I can go right here and I can choose some colors. I can choose maybe oranges and just choose different types. You see, we have a gap here. We'll fix it. Don't worry. So maybe I want this type or this type or whatever. I will change it. So I want this to be nothing and this to be actually white. I will change it into white or almost white. Something like like that. And uh, I can press OK. And now before I press OK here, I can move this up and down, as you can see. So I will move it a little bit down and I will desaturate this tone a little bit. So go to saturation and desaturate it. Mm. It's okay for now. We can always go back and change it. Now we need to fix this. Uh, this is the part from the grass right here, as you can see, because we did a clone stamp to some of the layers. Let's see on, on this one. We can just go here, use a layer mask, black color, and just, just erase that. And it's fixed. Now our photo, now our artwork is getting uh, to getting to some kind of uh, final final result. It's shaped by these trees and uh, all other elements. So let's add bushes. Let's go again down below, create a new layer and let me show you how I will create bush. It's really simple. Again, I will use tree because I love that plugin for Photoshop that filter. I will go with the branches height, uh, height to, to something like that also I want a lot of leaves as you can see and leaf size if I go with the small I don't want this I really want big leaf size like that and I will press OK and this is my bush so this is like a small bush that I will put right here and I will just copy alt and drag and put another one here and this is another one and it's amazing it's something that I really love I can rotate it if I want I can just tweak it however I want, but I really love this. So let's let's use like that. And also let's go for the third plan. But before that, I want to put a fox here. Let's go to our foxy lady and yeah, it's a little bit too big. Don't you think? Huh? Transform it, make it smaller. Now it's better. Now our fox is better, it's smaller. Okay. And now let's go to third plan. So let's go right here, create a new group. This is plan number three. But plane, I want a plane like plane. Okay. I think the fox is not good. It's strange shape. I was joking about the fox, of course. So let's let's bring back the fox, make it smaller. And, and you know what? I'm missing some orange grass at the back. So I will definitely do that because Fox is in the back more further away from the camera. It will be a smaller. Definitely. I will put it here, but then I will go to the grass 
And hmm, let's see if I make a copy of this and put it up. This is okay, but no, I don't like it. Let's see this one. Put it up. This is better, but I want to make it smaller. And yeah, this can be nice. And also just make another copy. And now let's go back to Fox. Just I want to move it. I'd like to move it, move it. I'd like to move it. Okay, I'd like to move it here. And for now, this is pretty good. Let's make a copy of these leaves. So this is one leaf that I want to put in. Just want to make make a copy, Alt and drag all the way to plant two. And this is one leaf, really cool leaf. Make it a little bit smaller because it's further away. Maybe the fox is looking how this is falling down. And maybe I want to add a few more. So let's go. Let's go to grab a few of them. Go again down to the second plane. And now I will just again move them. Don't sing that song. Okay. Make them smaller. Rotate like that. This is like that. Why not? And uh, do I need these? No. Let's see more of these leaves. This is this is pretty good. Let's group them leaves, leaves. Okay, perfect. I don't like this one. Why? I don't know. I don't like it. Where it is? Where are you, my friend? You're here. So yeah, because I have this one already there. So I would rotate it and put it maybe here. Yeah, it's not visible. Let's delete it. And these ones are pretty, pretty nice. And now let's go to the third plan and we are almost done. I know that you can't wait for me to finish this because it's a bit longer tutorial, but it is how it is. Let's go here, create a new layer inside the third plan, plane, and um, let's add more bushes. So let's go to filter, render three. And here, what I will do, I will just go here and tilt the camera, different angle. Okay. And we will add this, make it smaller. We will add this somewhere here. And also what I like to do, I like to colorize this to something else. Let's make a copy of the hue and saturation layer, clip it to affect this one and then change, change the color to yellow because it's more on the brighter side. So this is pretty cool. I don't want so saturated or maybe I want. Mm, what do you think? Blue is cool. So this is not blue actually. This is gray. But if you're see, seeing this like a blue tone, that's because your eye will fool you because of the orange tone all around. So this is gray. This is yellow. This is gray. Okay. So something like this, maybe a bit brighter. And um, <laughs> let's leave it like like that for now. And then I can make a copy, but I don't want to make a copy of that. I just want to create another one. And I can make it again smaller. Put it somewhere here. And I can make a copy of this one again. And let me see if I move it, flip it horizontally, make it smaller, move it here. Like there are a few layers of these. Maybe this one can be a bit brighter. I can go with Control or Command M and just use our curves to make this a bit brighter. Like it's even more further away. And this looks pretty cool. What do you think, guys? This is really, really nice. Now we will add another thing that is completely optional. Everything is here optional, but I will do another thing that I think that it will add the really nice overall look. So let's do it. Okay, so I want to add 
some kind of a sun. Not my sun like I already did in one of the tutorials, but like big sun. Like this. I don't have children so yet. So uh, this let's fill with white control and backspace or command and backspace and ta -da! this is pretty cool. Maybe to make it smaller, maybe to make it huge. I don't know. Maybe the first was perfect version. So this and maybe I want these bushes to move it to the left and move it to the right and move it to the left to other left. This is pretty cool. Maybe a little bit here, just a touch. Because I want this to be able to, to breed, to have space to breed this sun. Okay, and this is really cool. Now we can add a glow, you can change the colors, you can do whatever you want. I will add some kind of a glow to everything, but let me show you really quickly. Let's collapse this, collapse this, and this, and this is really cool. I can add hue and saturation adjustment layer at the top of everything. I can really easily change the tonality. So you can make something completely different or you can change the color separately uh, one by one by moving these hue and saturation adjustment layers. So this can be more bluish tone, like you can make some kind of a snow even. If you make some kind of a bluish scenes, it can, uh, or change the trees to some kind of uh, winter trees. You can make winter type of photo. So it's really cool. I will delete this because I don't need it. I want this, but I will go and use Oniric plugin. It's it's really cool, cool add-on for Photoshop. I already did a full tutorial on that. You can find it on link right there. And it's amazing for generating the, the glow here. So you can see it's really huge glow. So I want to go right there, lower the threshold even more and I don't want so intense. So let's see, this is cool. I want to colorize. So everything will have really nice tone, but I want more like orange, not red. And this looks really good. So let's go with the threshold a little bit down. Maybe the sun is too big. Maybe, maybe I'm just saying, can always play with this and let's see before and after yeah before and after press ok glow and a few more moments and this is it this is cool let's put this back here this is really really cool I think we are done of course we can play with this even more we can add more elements we can change the landscape however we want but i'm really really happy with this version and uh, that's it for today guys now you know another way how to create these amazing 2d landscapes you saw how you can utilize photoshop filter render three in different ways to use that uh, to flat the colors on both uh, branches and tree trunk and also on the leaves and to create this type of really cool to the landscapes. So if you have any kind of questions regarding to this episode, please leave me down there in the comment section below and I will be glad to answer it. Also guys, if you want to be better in photo manipulations, I have photo manipulation essential course on my website. The link is down there in the description. If you're up to it, check it out and learn how to create really amazing photo manipulation completely on your own from scratch. Learn all the things that you need to know uh, to be able to create something on your own. Also guys, if you want to download this PSD file and all other PSD files that I put it out there for you to be able to practice easier, you can do that by supporting me on my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. And in that way, you're directly supporting this channel and the existence of the channel. So for all my Patreon friends who already supported me there, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Right guys, that's it. Have fun, experiment, and see you in my next fun episode. Bye-bye.